Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to be taking a look at CradlePoint Firmware version 6. Today we're going to look at how to set up a Wi-Fi WAN connection and how you can manage it on a compatible CradlePoint router. We're doing this on an AER2100, but this applies to any Wi-Fi enabled CradlePoint running firmware version 6. If you missed part 1, which shows you how to install CradlePoint firmware version 6, or part 2, which goes over the connection manager, you can look at those in the description below or click on the video links on the screen. Once we're logged into our CradlePoint router, we're going to now go to the networking tab on the left side of the screen. We'll select Wi-Fi as WAN, and on the right, you will see our Wi-Fi WAN settings. Now again, this is a 2100, so we have two different Wi-Fi radios listed. If this was an MBR1400 or IBR600, for example, you would only have one radio listed. For our radio settings, by default, the client mode is set for disabled. We'll want to switch that over to wireless as WAN and hit save. At the bottom of the screen, you can see our site survey. The site survey is the scan of all of the available wireless networks that the CradlePoint can connect to. To make sure you have an up-to-date site survey, go ahead and click Refresh. Once that refreshes, you'll now see the list of all of the wireless networks available. You can see we have a couple different 3G Store networks, 3G Store Guest and Wireless. So for our example, we're going to connect to 3G Store Guest. You can see the name of the network, the signal strength to the network, the type of connection, and the security and channel. If that is the network you want to select, you'll click Import, and here you can fill out some additional details. Most importantly, you're going to need to enter the password for the network if it is protected. With that entered in, you will click Save, you'll get a success message, and hit OK. Now you will notice that the SSID has been added to the Saved Profile section on the same page. If you ever need to modify or remove a profile, you can do so by checking and clicking one of the buttons above. You can also manually add a profile if it is not within range of your Cradle Points site survey by clicking the Add button. Once you have a saved profile, you can now manage it and determine its failover or load balancing settings by heading into the Connection Manager, which we located in Part 2. Scrolling through the bottom of the Connection Manager, you'll see our new connection, which is 3G Store Guest. You can see it has a red mark, which means it is available, but not connected, and this is because we do not have load balancing enabled. Once we check off load balancing, it will automatically connect, and you are ready to go. For more information, visit 3gstore.com, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.